She bit you? No, her dog. Oh, she bit her dog, eh? No. That dog's a menace to the community. I'm taking him to the sheriff and make sure he's destroyed. Destroyed? Toto? Oh, you can't. You mustn't. Eddie M. Uncle Henry, you won't let her, will you? Of course we won't. Uh, uh, where we am? Please, Aunt Em. Toto didn't mean to. He didn't know he was doing anything wrong. I'm the one that ought to be punished. I let him go in her garden. You can send me to bed without supper. If you don't hand over that dog, I'll bring a damn suit and take your whole farm. There's a law protecting folks against dogs that bite. How would it be if she keeps him tied up? He's really gentle. With gentle people, that is. Well, that's for the sheriff to decide. Here's his order, allowing me to take it. Unless you want to go against the law. <laughs> And we can't go against the law, Dorothy. I'm afraid poor Toto will have to go. Now you're seeing no. reason. Here's what I'm taking him in. So he can't attack me again. Oh, no, no, I won't let you take him. You go away. You, oh, I'll fight you myself. Dorothy. You wicked old witch. Uncle Henry, Annie, don't let him take you. Oh, don't let him take him. Please, stop. Put him in the basket, Henry. Oh, I see. No. <laughs> Myra Gouch, just because you own half the county doesn't mean you have the power to run the rest of us. For 23 years, I've been dying to tell you what I thought of you. And now, well, being a Christian woman, I can't say it. <laughs> 